Hey guys, welcome to another bike commuting vlog here in Japan. Just finished work and I'm on my way home. You can see the sun is starting to set. It's starting to get dark pretty early now. This is uh, Mr. Garbage Mountain, by the way. So in today's theme, I wanted to talk about something that I've been thinking about lately on my commutes and that is, does bike commuting count as a workout? So this really depends on how you're riding and how you're using your time on your commute, but this is something I've been thinking about lately. And those of you guys who follow me on this channel know I'm really into bike commuting and I've been a full-time long distance bike commuter for most of the last year. And before that I was a short distance bike commuter so I never really used it as a workout or anything like that. I kind of separated the two. Bike commuting was bike commuting and cycling, performance cycling was a completely separate thing. Lately, because my commute is really long, we're actually going to go a new route today. I'll show you guys something new. So we're at Shonai Ryokuchi Park in Nagoya, Japan. There's actually a cycling course here and hopefully we still got enough daylight I can show you a bit of it while we do our ride. Here we go, the cycling course. Uh, but these bugs are allowed. I might not be able to talk here. But yeah, for me, I always separated the two. Bike commuting was just a way to get to work and I was usually doing a really short commute, like 5, 10, 15 minutes, nothing to really talk about. And lately, my commute's like 45 minutes to an hour, so I can definitely get in a decent workout in that time. It just depends on if you're actually making the effort to put in that workout or if you're not. Here's the sign for the course, by the way, cycling course. It's supposed to be a cycling course, but as you can see, there's walkers right in the middle of the road and also people going the wrong way. It's supposed to be a one-way course, but it's kind of a dangerous place to ride. That's why I don't do it, but we're going nice and slow today. I'm on my single speed, by the way, today. Nice, loud bottom bracket, which hopefully isn't too loud or too annoying for you guys. Sorry about that. Not as loud as these cicada bugs though, but they're starting to get more quiet as we're starting to get into the cool end of summer season and I'm loving it. When I went out for my commute this morning, it was nice and cool, almost to the point where I needed a windbreaker. And not that, not quite that cold yet, but it's getting there and it's nice and cool right now. So definitely liking this weather change. I love fall. It's gonna be a great time. But anyway, let's get back on topic. So does bike commuting count as a workout? Do you need to work out in addition to your bike commute? I used to think that I didn't need to work out because I was commuting like almost two hours every day. So that's 10 hours of riding every week. And that's a decent amount of riding time that should count as a decent workout. But if you're riding pretty casually, like I am now, like most days lately, I've kind of gotten into the bad habit of just casually coasting on my way to work and just riding as a nice comfortable pace so I'm not treating it like a workout and so it's not turning into a workout for me. I'm staying basically probably lower than zone one most of the time. If you're in the power zones that's like the lowest easy recovery zone and doesn't really turn into a workout just doing that on its own. You build up some nice base fitness but that's about it. Ooh, nice and sunny glaring sun. Earlier this year, I was really motivated. I was training a lot and I was using my commute time as my training. So I would have a dedicated, this is my short interval day. This is my long interval day. I would mix in some hill sprints. I would even meet some of my good sprinting buddies after work, meet at the park and do some sprinting workouts there. My wife even came out a couple times to join us and we had a really nice thing going. We were doing this every week for a while and then all of a sudden I just got really busy. I stopped doing that routine and working out my cycling goals was no longer a priority to me. I took a long hard look in the mirror, decided what are my priorities for this year and unfortunately cycling goals, fitness goals didn't make it into the top of that list. So I'm focusing on this YouTube channel. I want to help grow this channel. I'm focusing on my blogs. I, I run a website on learning Japanese. So if you're interested in learning Japanese go check it out jlptsensei.com. So there's sort of all these side projects that I'm doing and I've realized that for me at this point in my life, investing in those other projects to me is more important than 
just another cycling fitness goal. But yeah, I've already experienced going 100% on my cycling goals, making it to a low level pro, racing internationally in a couple different countries. I've experienced that life. I know what it's like and I know all the joys that come with it. And while a big part of me is still really competitive and I still really want to train and get those KOMs, it's just not in my top three priority list right now, unfortunately. So because of that, I've not been really working out on my commute lately. We just finished a full lap, by the way. We're gonna head back on my regular commute. It's a little bit too loud here with the bugs to talk and a bit dark with the trees. I don't think the camera footage is gonna turn out too nice. I've noticed how hard I go on my commute also affects how I feel when I'm at work. So if I do a morning workout before going to work, I'm gonna come into work super hungry and just eat like crazy. But lately I've just been sort of casually rolling in and I come in and my hunger's relatively under control. I'm not as hungry as I would be if I was doing those early workouts. When it was the winter, I would come into work super sweaty, even if it was freezing temperatures outside, just because I'm doing these hard intervals. I'd come into work crazy sweaty. In the summer, I've noticed it doesn't really make a difference if you do intervals or not. You're gonna be super sweaty either way. <laughs> nice dog. So that's another pro and con of doing intervals, workouts during your commute. You also have to decide if you're gonna do your intervals before or after. So I would do some double sessions sometimes. I do some sprints in the morning and then do some longer intervals in the evening. So it is possible to get a workout in while you're commuting, but my point I guess is if you're not actively making an effort to do that, or if you're riding a beater commuter bike that you can't really do your workouts in, like I'm on a single speed right now, I can get a decent workout in on this thing, but I'm gonna be limited in what I can do compared to a geared bike. And of course, depending on the terrain you're riding on, like this course is mostly flat. There's not really many hills, but there are different options I can take to get on some hills and include those in my course if I wanna do that. So what are the other options? And that is to work out outside of your commute time. For me, time has become extremely valuable. I don't even really have a family, kids or anything other than my wife. And I've got my YouTube channel, my websites and my wife, that's my family. And I'm so pressed for time all the time. There's all these things I wanna do. I find that I finish work, I go home and it's already super late and there's just so much I can get done before I need to go to bed and then get up early the next day and my commute starts. So I'm really hesitant to add something onto my schedule like that. Working out outside of commute time just seems like a big waste of time but lately i've been starting to feel a little bit weaker i've been feeling like i'm losing muscle mass this might be because i was training really hard earlier this year and i built up a decent fitness level i had my ftp up to about 350 watts and i was weighing about 75 kilograms so i was in pretty decent shape not anything spectacular but pretty decent shape for someone who's not racing and just commuting i was whiff racing a little bit for a while and I think going from that to just sort of casually riding and I mentioned in some of my other videos is I don't really have much motivation to ride on the weekends anymore. I finished my commute and yeah, there's just other things I wanna focus on. Like I mentioned, cycling is not really a top priority for me right now in terms of my goals. Like, but yeah, unfortunately I haven't been doing many weekend rides, but yeah, if there's some nice conditions, there's a nice course that I wanna go ride. For example, me and my wife, we just went to Nagano Prefecture and rode Norikura, the tallest paved road in all of Japan. So I still love going on those cycling trips and doing things with my wife. It's just, man, it's tough to find time. And I think that's something I'm slowly learning as I'm becoming an adult is that just how valuable time is and how much you miss it when you don't have time. My last job was pretty great because we had long vacations uh, working at a university, one of the biggest benefits is you have lots of time to focus on development and lots of time to just sort of relax so you can get back into the groove when your full-time work starts up again. 
And that's a nice thing about working in education in general, I guess. Unless you're a Japanese teacher, they, they just get they just get brutally overworked here. But that's a completely separate story. I'm curious what you guys think though. So anyone who's watching this video, what do you guys think? Do you use your commute as your workout or do you do extra workouts outside of your commute? So be it extra hard rides after your commute or do you go to the gym and do you do CrossFit? So I'm curious what works for you guys. Anyway, that's enough of me just talking about how I don't want to work out and it's kind of ironic how I'm losing weight now that I've stopped working out. Back when I was aiming to become a professional cyclist, that was one thing that I was really focused on and that was reducing my race weight because I was always kind of a bigger guy. Compared to other pro cyclists, like I was a pretty big guy. I'm over six feet tall and at that time I was 180, 185 pounds. That's, I don't know kilograms right now, but that's pretty heavy and every time there was a national championships or big race it's always a mountain stage so I just got destroyed and I was always motivated to drop my body weight so that I could perform better but the more I trained even if I trained a ridiculous amount over 20 hours a week I would end up putting on more muscle even if I was dieting it was crazy and I found that when I stop riding when I stop exercising that's the time for me where I can lose weight because it, that allows me to lose my muscle mass and I just revert back to a normal body. So kind of ironic. Most people work out extra hard to lose weight, but it does the opposite effect for me. Anyway, what about you guys? What do you guys think about this topic? Do you guys use your commute as your workout or do you work out in addition to your commute or are you like me and you just casually cruise into work and you don't do anything? I actually bought a nice ab machine in my apartment and we used it for the first few months we had it there but uh, we just use it to hang our laundry right now unfortunately check out that glorious sunset let's take a quick break here this is my single speed by the way nanachan my dedicated commuter bike for my first four years here in japan haven't been using her too much lately, but I'm thinking to make the switch back just because I like simplicity and my cyclocross bike has been getting destroyed. We're on flats today. I use these with my sandals in the rain because I don't have waterproof shoes or anything like that. Anyway, beautiful, glorious sunset today. Anyway guys, I'm gonna make my way home and finish this video here. What do you guys think about this topic? Do you guys work out during your commute or do you do extra riding outside of your commute or do you do extra random workouts outside of your commute? I'm curious what you guys are doing. Let me know down below in the comments. Also, if there's any topics you'd like me to go over, any bike commuting topics you'd like me to go over in a future bike commuting video, let me know down in the comments. I'm always looking for new ideas. And yeah, gotta hurry up and get home tonight. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later guys.